Okay, let's get to the meats and potatoes. Boston Celtics and Golden State Warriors game five. I mean, the Celtics stunk up the place. I mean, simply. I mean, Andrew Wiggins, a.k.a. Andrew Wiggy, just came in the building and exploded on my Boston Celtics face with no remorse. I mean, he put, he made Jason Tatum, a.k.a. Jason Statham, and, and Jalen Brown in his back. I mean, like, I need Jason Tatum to step it up. I mean, there's levels to this. He's supposed to be Kobe's protege. Where was the Mamba mentality? Well, first and foremost, uh, Skip, I agree with everything you said. Uh, I mean, it's baloney. You got uh, the Golden State Warriors. They have been here. This is no rodeo for the Golden State Warriors now. Okay, you got Jason Tatum. He is 23 years old. And Jason Tatum, you are now considered a superstar. So Jason Tatum, I expect bigger and better things out of you from game six. I know you can ball. So you need to take the Celtics and put them in the headlock and have that Mamba mentality that I know you got. But uh, back to you, Skip. Um, This is probably the first thing we have ever agreed on. Ever. And I say, yeah. I say that humbly. Yeah. Uh, but, um, yeah, Jason Tatum, you need to show up. I mean, when I watched game five at Oak Arena, I did not see Jason Tatum. I seen a little boy. And I'm disappointed that you Jason Tatum. And you know what? I want to add on to that because, you know, I'm always going to root for my Boston Celtics. Okay, listen, Tatum, you had 27, okay? 10 rebounds, 4 assists. I need that to be 43. I need you to activate, turn that switch to Mamba mentality. Because this is not going to cut it. You're a star. To reach that superstar level, level. You're going to have to cut off the Golden State Warriors head. And you're going to have to go into Boston and bust on the Warriors' face. I mean, it's plain simple. If you want your ring, you're going to have to go in there, cut off the heads, and bust on their face with 43 points. No assists, 10 rebounds. Okay? I'm going to need you to hold that ball, cut down the turnovers. I mean... This is just outlandish. It's, this is baloney. And let's not forget, the Bulls and Celtics, we're not going to cut you no slack. But yes, you guys are facing a superb Warriors defense, ranked number second in the NBA. And you have Draymond Green, who finally showed up in Game 5. That's the Draymond Green I've been looking for. Now, Draymond Green, you took me back to 2015 when you was out there. I didn't, I didn't want to call you Draymond Green. I was going to call you Draymond Rondo. Draymond Green, if you do this in game six, you will have yourself a fourth ring. And you will get your jersey. I'm going to say it. Listen, I'm going to say it. Don't be mad at me, Warriors Nation. But Draymond Green deserves it. He will get his jersey retired as a warrior. Now, I just want to speak on the Boston Celtics team as a whole in game five. Um, you had Jason Tatum. You had Marcus Smart. Jalen Brown, I need more out of you. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm simply going to have to need more out of you. Horford, I'm going to need more out of you, okay? Um, Williams, need more out of you. I need more out of the entire from the, from the 1 to the 12, Okay? Listen, Smart, you played a decent game. Um, you had 20 points, I believe. Um, let me check the stats. You had 20 points, three rebounds, two assists. Field goals, decent. Three points is decent. Um, but Smart, I'm going to need you to cut out the flopping. I mean, everybody's just flopping everywhere. Kobe would not approve of that. Okay. 
Stick to your defense. Don't flop. Because, I mean, you're just giving, you're giving the game in the ref's hands. I mean, simple. Don't put the game in the ref's hands. Play straight up defense. There's levels. Would you agree? Skip, I agree with your point once again. I'm really shocked that uh, me and you are on the same page right now. But what I don't agree with you, uh, Jalen Brown has been balling. Jalen Brown was the conference finals MVP in the Heat series. Jalen Brown has carried the Boston Celtics. Jalen Brown has been the best Boston Celtic this entire playoff series. Jalen Brown is not Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is Jalen Kobe Bryant. I said it. Now, with that being said, Jason Tatum, if you and your backcourt do well, can all come together and uh, figure something out in Game Six. You guys will be successful, Jalen Brown, my brother. You have been balling your yo. You have been balling your tail off, boy. And I'm proud of you. If you guys pull this off, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Jalen Brown is Conference Finals MVP. Wow, that's very bold. That's very bold. And I call baloney because the star of the Boston Celtics. It's always been Jason Tatum. I don't know who's worse. Wait, 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 wait. I get that, Skip, but you cannot look over the cold heart brood facts that Jalen Brown has been balling. Jalen Brown has been in his bag. I seen Jalen Brown make 16 shots in a row in warm-ups. Jalen Brown, he got that look in his eye. Jalen Brown is no pushover. Jalen Brown bees in the gym. So, don't call. Don't say you need more out of Jalen Brown. You need more out of Jason Tatum. Yeah. I mean, I, I totally agree with you. Um, I totally agree, yeah. Well, let's let's get on. We're going to go back to Boston. Let's get on to your Warriors. Because, you know, I'm rooting for Boston Game 7. I believe that Jason Tatum, he's going to step up his game. He's going to ignite that Mamba mentality. He has no choice. But let's get on to your Golden State Warriors because I honestly believe and I know I will put four cases of Henny that uh, my Boston Celtics game six will come in and dominate the Golden State Warriors. I'm calling the score 98-78 Boston and we're going to go back to Oracle and we're going to win that ring. So basically what I'm hearing is that you don't believe in three-time NBA champion and Steph Curry. You don't believe in three-time NBA champion and Klay Thompson, his splash brother. So what I'm hearing is you do not believe in three-time NBA champion J. Mike Green. These guys are no pushovers. They've been here. They are not a one-trick pony. They are not a one-hit wonder. Yeah. Disney star. Now, with that being said, I'm not betting against Stephen Curry! Stephen Curry is the Tom Brady of the NBA! So, I rest my case, Warriors in six. Stephon Curry will have his fourth ring. And I'm going to say this, and we're going to lead the show off with this. Stephen Curry is better than... I'm going to say it! I'm going to say it! Stephen Curry is better than LeBron James! That is baloney. <laughs> I don't want no tacos, baby. I want my mama's chicken. It gets spicy, and I'm type of nigga, steal your mail. You won't.